Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're going to look at another a portion of our No Shot campaign where we're trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty with nothing but our bare hands and minds. So no shots, no explosives, nothing. It's just fist combat and psionics, of course, which again, we haven't used that much. Speaking of which, Psionic Storm is the side trip of our mission, Operation Spider Fort, where we're trying to counter Barrier as a dark event for the third time in this entire run. Uh, it is phenomenal to see how the game just keeps redrawing that nasty dark event, but we don't want to deal with that for sure. So, Western Europe is the name of the game. Well, let's go into the mission. Luckily, it's not a protect the device like we had the last time. Uh, are we going to take Sane? We got a negative trade recovery here. I might as well take Sane. Um, not the best to have another um, another tired person here, but overall. It, uh, we, we at least get rid of a negative, tra uh, negative trait for sure, and he might or might not be injured afterwards. We got Maximilian Sona Richter with us uh, back in action. Very good. So, what else? Stevart. Let's give the man a mimic beacon. And let's give him a stasis vest. He certainly can use it. Uh, so we got our armor slowly but surely um, going. We're, we're planning to build more of these. Three mine shields, um, three mimic beacons, a little bit of armor, uh, some school jacks, just to be sure, and some healing is all we need in order to destroy the alien relay. It's going to be a very difficult mission, so we take that pretty literal. I assume that we're going to fight the Warlock. Here we go, guys. Let's go. Okay, and we landed. So, that is where we want to go. Good old um, alien relay. We're luckily in concealment, so everything should work in our favor for now. Unless, of course, we're just hunkering down because one of uh, the uh, negative traits kicks in. That is unfortunate. But yeah, it happens. Yeah, we can already see that there's a priest right there. Moving everyone to the edge. And that's pretty much about it. We only got seven turns, so we better get this moving. Elite priest and normal priest. This is going to be a hateful combination. Because here's the deal. Both of them have a chance to um, trigger stasis. And stasis uh, then again has a, a chance to just let them live that extra one turn. I know it sucks, but we got to engage. No more hiding out. Probably going to trigger two or three packs here. Yep, there's the second pack. And that might be the third pack. All right. PCF. Uh, PCS perception doesn't do a whole lot for us. In the meantime, let's just get down here, kill this guy. Of course, we're going to see. Yep, you guessed it. Sustenance. I was just talking about it. There's another pack here and another pack here, both of which we do not want to pull. Not right away. Ooh, interesting. K 
Can we school mine someone that is in stasis? I should be impossible, but the game still allows us to do that. Can we normally attack him? No, we can't. But school mining is okay. That seems weird. I'm going to try it, just because I've really, literally never had that situation. And I just want to see if it works or if it does not work. And thanks to our nicely upgraded um, uh, uh, tier 2 gremlins, we are now fifth, uh, 35 above the tech score. So that's a pretty secure extra hack. Just some alien alloys to say thank you for doing the right tech decision. And afterwards, I would love to see whether or not this one here is going to work. Well, you can't click, but with spacebar, you are allowed to do it. Yeah, he's immune. Okay, good. We wasted uh, one skull mining there. I'm totally uh, aware that that was wasted. Nonetheless, I really wanted to test it. Good. Let's throw a mimic beacon down here. We're taking momentum into moving right there so that the blade storm will kill him unless he's of course using stasis which he might as well will use who knows i don't want to go too close or just running over there and Sane, I would like to position them here in full cover in a good position And that's when the warlock shows up Yeah, it was predicted because it was a very difficult mission so it doesn't really surprise us, right? Can summon troopers, return fire, soul stealer. Yeah, but we should be able to one on one him with Hawkbite. It's one of the chosen. This mission just got a little more dangerous. Stay on top of its position and try to take it out. Very good. So we can definitely kill the sectored. And there's the blade storm kill that we were looking for. Also, finally, the first focus that we've gotten. Another pack triggers. The elder's judgment is nearly upon you. Good, let's start with the ones that do not have a mimic beacon, shall we? Yes, we shall. Um, that Advent Priest or that Sectored could both be killed. Ionic Storm would only deal a very minor amount of damage. We could Skull Mine. I'm not opposed to that idea. Very aggressive move. We're maybe pulling another pack, but we got Mimic Beacons, so I'm fine with that. Skull Mining. And that's a successful kill. Got some bonus intel. Nice little 50-50 that we successfully made. My expectations for them were wow, three elite priests. That's, that is a lot of enemy hit points to chew through. Uh, 
I want to start with Codex down here. For reasons that I will disclose in a second. Two reasons, actually. By setting him up, we can afterwards use Hogbite in order to kill the clone and maybe deal some extra damage. Plus, we can move into a direction where... Ah, okay, I shouldn't have blocked here. But what we could do... No, we can't. We can't reach the sector. Ah, that is unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. Okay. Well, Hogbite's got to clean up now. And... How do we want to do that? Yeah, I do have an idea. We can kill the Codex. We can kill actually some of uh, the Codices. So what I would want to do is get an enemy, um, get a um, common protocol uh, going. Yeah, we, we could hit few of them. Uh, most noticeably, we could kill uh, the one Codex there. Afterwards, we're setting up this Codex here. Very nice. It's stunned, so it cannot replicate. That's even better. And now let's fill up Hogbite's focus bar. There we go. Oh, that's another focus. Moving over here, got my reasons, which is let him work just a little bit harder. Got our Mimic Beacon here, which will help us in a second. Good. This here is going to kill two for one. Go back to your All right, we could move up here. I think I'm pretty sure that. Oh, we move up here, which is great. Double blade storm. Yeah, we're going to do that. I'm pretty sure we're not going to trigger anymore. Because we already triggered the entire map. That's an advantage of triggering the entire map. The chance of triggering even more is pretty damn low. Good. Now let's find a place where Mimic Beacon can nicely be seen. Over here is just about right for all of them. And let's just get the Codex down. It will elsewise teleport and not just move away. So might as well just finish it. I don't mind setting in the open because we're out of line of sight for most of them. Confirmed. Could take another Comet Protocol if I really wanted to. With the advanced priest here i think the aid protocol is better because we do not really have a defensive uh, if they are deciding to shoot and of course they are going for the mimic beacon first but that will probably only stop two of them right Pretty much two of them. I was right. There's the blade storm. Come on, mind control is you. You want to mind control Hawk, but it's so bad. I know it. There we go. Yeah, 
Yeah. Nice try, buddy. Spectral zombies hopefully will appear right next to Hogbite. Nope, that is not the case. The ones that are moving to Hogbite still going to uh, going to take a nice little beating, so that it works fantastic. But that here is an unfortunate spectral rupture. Still got four more turns to go. Confirmed. And I really don't want to be hit by the spectral rupture, to be honest. We're on our way f to a flawless mission and I would like to keep that if possible. Moving over. Comet Protocol just down here to kill that guy. Very nice. Good. We're going to keep that Mimic Beacon just in case. Moving up to slaughter this guy. Didn't fully work out. Well, could kill either of the two priests. Unfortunately, the guy up here could also still act, and I'm concerned that he will uh, that he will just take a shot and injure someone. Do we need the mimic beacon for something else? Is the question. Probably not, to be honest. Before we plant it though, I would like to at least try to kill this guy here. Alright, he's stunned for two rounds, which means he's not going to come back. After the sustenance, he might return. Moving all the way back in the hopes of Motivating him to jump down. Roby is moving up so that we can attack next turn. And we're going to use another Mimic Beacon. Likely over here. The Elite Priests just have... An incredible amount of hit points, I'm not going to lie. This guy jumped down, like I was hoping he would, just to get some extra hit uh, damage. And the Chosen did not engage on us. Okay, cool. Starting to go through all of them. Oh, are you serious? Holy shit. Okay. Well, they are actually serious with that. Good. Roby can finish that job. So let's start with the throwing axe. Oh, 
Good. That might ignite him. It did not. Okay, fair enough. Full cover position. That's it. Well, let's just say he isn't particularly happy about us cleaning house. Moving all the way over there. And let's move all the way over here. Yeah, I can't really do anything about him. He's probably just going to stasis. Mind control, mind control. Okay, that won't really help him. Even though technically he was successful, he's really not. There's the Mind Scorch. We're going to be immune against that. Nice try, buddy. Doesn't really work out. Moving down. So to answer your question, yes, it is clear. Finish the Mind Control. Very well. Good, we can start dealing serious damage here. And let Hogbar deal with the Chosen. There you go. Nice damage, by the way. Parrying. And this here should stop the data transfer. Good. Just some aid protocol. We're going to hunker down and yeah, let's carefully get up here. We're not going to see any more Psy zombies. I think we're past that point, but I want to make sure that the Warlock doesn't randomly like move here and take a shot. And if he does, he needs to shoot into half cover. Very nice. That's what I was hoping for. And he's trying to mind control, but he still has not learned his lesson. Very nice. That one worked out fantastic. We opened the wall. So that future blade storm attacks can finish the job. No longer a threat. Got a data pad that is yet again additional intel. We're making a fortune on this run. Concealing in order. Yes, I can. That was super smart. MVP conceal right there. Alright, that will kill the trooper due to Bladestorm. 
So we're just going to parry. And let's move up so that our combat protocol could work. And we're also completely out of line of sight for eventual healing purposes. Good. Both of these guys are down. Another Mind Scorch. Well, luckily we got a nice little Mind Shield, right? And now we're just going to be serious with uh, starting to hunt him down. We could one-on-one -on -one him. Oh, nice. Very nice. Super good hit. Okay. Eva takes the kill because Hawkbutt doesn't need it anymore. And we just zerked him down. In good old fashion. Well, who's bringing a knife to a gunfight now? You have me once again in the eyes of my <laughs> and the warlock. I love him. He's probably, the, in, at least in my humble opinion, the best uh, or just best uh, way of creating in uh, a chose. Not only do I li like his skill set a lot, but he's also from all of the chose and probably the guy who takes it the most serious. The other two are just over the, over the top edgy, like the assassin. Yeah, I, I hate her too much in order to um, find her attra an attractive opponent. And the hunter is just, yeah. He's not even taking himself serious. He's a troll. Nice. Three promotions right there. Good. We're starting with Captain. Still not Major. And we're taking Covering Fire. Uh, just to not get threat assessment. I mentioned already that that would be bad for this run. And here we go, Bladestorm. That's what we've been waiting for for such a long time. Roby finally got it. I love it. Very good. And then Diva got it in the exact same mission. Almost as if the game wanted us to start feeling better about our rangers. Good. We got... Look at that, we got loot to sell, loot to sell, loot to sell. We got extra intel, we got 20 more intel, and we got 10 more alien alloys. So that was a pretty rich mission overall. We countered barrier for the third time, and we got ourselves like 150 supplies on top of it. Pretty damn good. I like it. We're going to keep the supplies where they are. We can always... Um, Upgrade our resistance ring just before the end of the month. See, that would be an, another interesting target, getting a supply rate going. I like that. That would, gi that would give us even more alloys, even more Illyrium. The game wants or gives us options to expand, right? We, we just need to gra uh, grasp them. And a supply rate would be fantastic. Plus, it gives us free XP, and uh, who would who would not take that? Nice, 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 nice. Okay, that's exactly what we were looking for: celestial gauntlets and warden upgrade. The wrath suit might even be something that is going to help us. Viper research also. Gives us Battlefield Medicine, that's an important one. More hit points uh, regenerated. Well, what else would we need? So that here gives us extra intel. 
we're at the moment fine when it comes to that. Um, the Archon Autopsy gives us the highest uh, melee weapons, if I'm not mistaken, so we might want to just do that. Viper King for four days gives us a fantastic armor, just an absolute astonishing suit of armor. Might as well take that. Let's go for the uh, Viper King first, because I like the suit, and afterwards we're going for the Archon Autopsy. Without access to refined fossil fuels, okay, so that was helpful. Now, let's see if our saved up, saved up um, funds were good enough. We're still requiring a little bit more Illyrium, but we might get that from the black market. As well as some more money in order to upgrade the uh, Templar melee weapon to the highest level. So off we go, black market. Scan this region before we can establish contact with the local resistance. I'd advise we stick around and finish the job, but the choice is yours. Yeah, we're going to go back there um, in a second. First of all, Alarium crystals, yes, very much so. Good investment. Uh, superior speed is also a fantastic investment. That is a fantastic investment. Because we would be having a much easier time to reach everybody on the um, on the field with superior speed. So I think we're going to take that even though it costs 50 intel. We're still okay, we can make one more contact. Good, now in terms of selling, third rack, yes. Ooh, intel, yeah, although it's worth 80, I'm not going to sell it. We have a couple of other items that we can sell. Advanced scope here. Perception, we don't need that. Advanced laser sight. We're keeping the superior repeater just in case it uh, is requested because then it's worth 70. Keeping the sectored corpses for mine shields. A couple of mutant corpses can go. And of course, a couple of trooper corpses. Good. I. Yeah. Got to make sure that the Avatar project is not uh, completely derailing. Good. As I was saying, uh, we wanted to get going with the armor first. So, Warden Armor, here we go. This is our basic power armor frame, providing the durability you'd expect from a jump. Super good. Next up, Celestial Gauntlet. Uh, still 240 supplies. Holy moly. It's expensive. Hmm. Shall we get 70 more? I think yes. Uh, the Templar upgrade is too good to not take it. And if we can get 170 more is open we can even get another resistance order not the best idea to sell too uh, too much of that so I'll be careful I think we need four or five vipers for the medicine. Okay, perfect, good. So, as I was saying, what can I do for you, Commander? Let's do the weapon upgrade, Celestial Gauntlet, definitely, yes, please. And whilst we're at it, um, resistance ring, small upgrade, yes, good. That gives us another uh, resistance order. 
so that we uh, just can benefit more from it. And truth be told, if we're taking, for instance, a resistance order for 20% more um, income, the 100 will um, amortize very, very easily over the next one to two months. So that is net net positive. This ship isn't all that different from the old base. Seeing that the Avatar pro, uh, project starts making progress again, I want to make sure that we have something to counter it, which in this case is our access to that facility over here. And we can also get machine learning. Resistance communications facility now operational. Wonderful. Good. We got ourselves more contacts. We got all of the negative traits taken away. We can get Hogbite into bond training. And we have no one else to take negative traits off of. Currently we're fine with the contacts. There's no problem with those. Could theoretically upgrade that later, but we're, we're doing fine with the contacts. No need to overdo it. And that's exactly what we wanted to see. This unfortunately is not exactly what we wanted to see. Fortress is a fantastic ability, but I wanted to see Null Lands. So that's a bit besides... Besides what we need. We're not going to reassign the infirmary. I'll just let him work there for now. Ah. Uh. All right, you convinced me we're going to reassign it. Good, got some more armor going. And whilst we're at it, uh, like I said, um, Battlefield Medicine here would be fantastic. Only takes three corpses even. But yeah, we're going with experimental armor. That's exactly what we need at this point. And we're doing good. We're doing pretty damn good so far. Got our machine learning going. That is great. There is a double agent option. Mm, that's okay. Experimental uh, grenades, heavy weapons um, are created instantly. Not necessarily what we were looking for. So Bomb Squad is not that great. Double Agent is okay. And I guess one thing that we could do is we could slowly start making contact over here. Yeah, we can see essentially making contact here would be an option. Making contact to here would also be an option. I, I would almost say going via Africa is the better choice. It's just a bit more efficient because if we're building, if we're going through here and here, uh, probably equally, equally good. I was just thinking where we put the next um, the next uh, radio tower in um, this this one here would only give us access to one location can't um, can't connect directly over here so building it here would allow us to get south africa and india might be the better choice The other option is to simply follow through here, then go through New Brazil because we already know that there is another facility. Yeah, that's probably what we should do, to be entirely honest. Do we want the extra supply rate, yes or no? Supply rate will fill that one up again and we're currently pretty depleted. 
also will give us supplies so in all actuality this is maybe the best option that we could uh, that we could do right now and it is a bonus mission so we're not going to lose anything by attempting the mission chosen some more likely to appear that's okay new discoveries commander Despite an extensive study of Dr. Valen's research report, I have yet to discover how she came to acquire such an impressive understanding of the processes involved in the editing Good. and manipulation of so alien in terms genetic of material. Armor. Make that our highest priority. New orders, Commander. In terms of armor. No, I think. Just give the word about it might be weapon. here. Arm upgrade? No. Am I missing something? I think it was on approving grounds. To himself in one of the corridors. I'm not sure he even noticed me. Um, trusts him, but I'm still keeping my eyes open. Maybe we already got it. Let's check the loadouts. No, we did not. All right, I'm curious about that. Let me shortly investigate. I might have overseen something. And I know when I'm watching Let's Plays, I hate it when people are not um, properly looking. Yeah, I scrolled over it. Uh, typical oversight. Yeah, there's the Serpent Suit, 10 Alarium Crystals, and five days. That's what we would want to get as well. But even one more reason to go to to the uh, supply rate. But before we do that, we got a nice little uh, dark VIP uh, mission for 200 supplies and 100 intel. Again, the game wants us to continue expanding and even uh, sweetens the deal with more resources that are available. Operation Damned Druid. That sounds a bit like an uh, AD&D adventure. Good, we're probably going to cancel the bond training here and are instead going to take the guys onto this mission. Okay, Alien Poe is making progress where uh, you can see that the continuous uh, mm, training of both of the Psy operatives is almost getting them ahead in, uh, in competing with uh, XP gain from missions, so that's not too bad. Because effectively, we're doing missions with eight instead of six operatives. That's how you should look at it. It's a bit anticlimactic because we're not taking them on missions yet. But trust me, once they are fully equipped, they are a force to be reckoned with. Superior health all the way. Hogbite here has speed plus one. Uh, we don't want to... Mm. I don't want to destroy the small speed upgrade that would almost not be worth it instead let's give it to Roby because I have the feeling that he will stick around for a little bit longer he has a couple of good talents and so let's give him the speed installation also means that he's a bit faster Good, which brings us to the end of this episode. Next one is going to be a dark VIP rescue mission. We're still standing strong in September. We got our armor upgrade. We got most of uh, our weapon upgrades. There's just one more sword um, and that's going to come soon, but we're still lacking all of the nice armor and I have not figured out a way um, of dealing with the Chosen yet. Uh, to be honest, we're, we're not even sure where their hideout is. So lots and lots and lots to come and we also don't want to be uh, shut down. So things are getting tighter towards the end game, much tighter than I would have expected. It's a very refreshing uh, way of playing the game. It almost becomes more difficult once we're getting towards the end game, uh, which is for XCOM purpose, a very uh, strange imagination because normally at this point in the game, 
you pretty much um, uh, have a done deal. But yeah, it's quite the opposite. Anyways, we're at the end. If you like the content, uh, leave a comment down below and uh, like the video. See you in the next one. Bye bye, guys.